At the head of any hyena family is a hard-nosed leader. And unusually for the animal kingdom, it's nearly always a female. They grow to be bigger and stronger than males. More than two and a half feet tall and 130 pounds, they must keep the clan safe. On the African plains, danger is never far away. Lions are the hyena's sworn enemy. They steal their meat and sometimes even kill clan mates. The only way hyenas can survive is with a strong leader. But over the years, this queen has turned into a tyrant. Two lower-ranking females kill an impala. Yet the queen hijacks the carcass, leaving them hungry. She bullies the weakest clan members, including mothers raising cubs. The queen is out of control, and the clan is at snapping point. Surviving here is perilous enough without threat from within. The tyrant must go. She's set upon. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, the hyena queen would easily overpower any of her followers. However, she's up against not just one, but all of them. They surround her, just like they would surround larger prey during a hunt. Each hyena has a bite force of more than 1,000 pounds, enough to crack a giraffe's thigh bone and they attack as one. The hyenas could easily kill her and are known cannibals. But they stop short. It's already over for this tyrant. She's defeated. Her hind leg is ruined. The hyenas choose the clan over their leader, leaving her defenseless and surrounded by enemies.